how to create an ebook. That's what we're going to talk about today, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Owen Hemsath personal channel where we talk about all things related to marketing, fatherhood, being a very good looking young person in today's modern, well-connected society. All of that stuff is gonna be talked about on this channel, so if you're interested in those things, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. Today, I'm talking about uh, creating an ebook because with marketing, you wanna have funnels, and in order to have a funnel, you have to have some bait. You've gotta have something that, that attracts your target audience and gives them a reason to exchange their name and their phone number and their email for something that you're willing to offer them. So we use eBooks a lot, but we also use video courses and paid products and a lot of different things. But today we're gonna to be talking about creating an eBook because creating an eBook is something that anyone can do. There's just a lot of steps involved to creating an eBook. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take you to my computer screen and I'm gonna show you the process, what I've been doing and maybe it's something that you can emulate, but it's also something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing my clients so that they know how the, process, how the process works. So let's go ahead and go to my computer screen. Okay, so the first thing that we did to create this ebook because we did keyword research and we're in the financial industry and what we did was we found the top three keywords that were being searched for our area and for the field that he's in. And what we came up with was I think it was 401k, college planning, and stock market, right? So we wanted to incorporate all three of those topics into one keyword, or excuse me, into one ebook so that we could optimize for that keyword for three different keywords and bring them all into one funnel where the book would serve all of their needs. So once we created the topics, then I created a series of questions and conducted an interview with the client through a conference call. And I use a free conferencing system that has a record feature. I love it. I can start the recording and stop the recording right where I want it to go. And that's exactly what I did here. So now the interview was only like 10 minutes. I mean, it wasn't very long at all because we'll talk a lot faster than we read. So when you get a transcription back, it'll be you know, 10, 15 pages. That's, that's a little bit too much for an ebook, for a free ebook. So we kept it really short, really succinct. And in the end, took the recording and gave it to my transcriber. She does a fantastic job and she'll even divide it up into these sections for me so I can see where my, you know, where I'm speaking and then where the client was speaking and so on and so forth. This is what she delivered to me. What I had to do from here was then kind of go through it, see, because I don't want it to be ONJ, ONJ, that sort of thing. So I, t I had to make this more readable, and of course we speak differently than we read, so I had to do a little bit of editing here. It took me about two and a half hours to get it done. You could easily pay an outsourcer to do that. I'm a little particular with this particular client because I want to honor their investment. They're a good client, so I want to make sure that it was done my way. What I came up with next then, after I did all that editing, was this. Let me go back to the top here. So you can see that I've got, you know, what is financial planning? And then I've got, you know, I, I made the text bigger and then I put these placeholders here. Uh, these are bullet points. This is just a stock image. But what this is, I'm basically laying it out in Microsoft Word and I'm adding these images here. Like this will be an image. Uh, down here will be a, a financial quote of some kind. Right, and then as you're flipping through it, you can see that I've made the text bigger and I've, I've turned these into questions. Why would I need a financial planner? It's very scrollable, it's very easy to read. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and, and increase the size a little bit. Just on that one, again, another quote would go here and we're scrolling down, we're seeing that it's more bullet points, an image would go here and a quote, when another quote would go there. And then another image here. You can see there's like, you know, this is a bigger image and I'm just doing, this is formatting. You know, I'm just doing this to fill up the book, to make it um, worthy of the clients. They, I want them to walk away and say, wow, that was, you know, I really learned a lot from that book. And this, as I'm going through it, I'm actually realizing this is a really, it's a really good book. Now, what I'm gonna do from here is actually give this to one of my graphic designers who's gonna add some stuff to the top to it, like a footer, and then add some stuff, excuse me, a header, and then add some stuff to the bottom where it's like click to tweet and share this. I'll probably add some of those links in there as well and we'll, we'll generate some, some, some movement on, on Twitter and on social networks as well. 
but I also want to spice it up, right? The plain white pages are just pretty dull. I mean, take a look, take a look again at this. Um, it's just, it's just dull, right? It just needs to have more, more depth and stuff. And I, I could do that. I could experiment with it, but I, that's not what I do, right? Uh, I want a graphic designer to do that and have it done, done right. So, um, in, in ebook part two, I'll show you actually the finished product and even show you the landing page and the funnel that we're building this towards. Uh, it's really cool. I'm really happy with the work that we're doing. It's very simple, right? It's not, it's not like the super high tech. We're getting all this analytic company, da, 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 da. We're, we're using Google Analytics and we're using some other just really simple tools to measure our effectiveness. But the number one metric is how many people are opting in and how, many, how much money are we spending, right? The client is not as concerned with how we're getting the leads is that we're getting leads. So I'm gonna be using primarily Facebook ads to generate interest in this ebook to make that email marketing list go up. We're gonna market to that list um, for five consecutive weeks and then we're going to promote a free webinar where we're going to turn them into clients. So overall, it's going to be a pretty, a pretty, you know, killer, killer thing. So uh, stay tuned. Check back in again. I broadcast from this channel. I'm trying to do twice a week right now, and I promise I'll get on that habit where I'm doing one of these marketing updates in terms of what I'm doing and and some of the journaling, I guess, that I'm I'm doing for my my company, and my business. But I'm also going to be doing Owen on the Go, which is me in my car talking about topics that are are in my head and, and hopefully turn that into a little bit more training uh, and some motivation, some things that really get you pumped up. Because honestly, if you learn the skill sets. You can do anything. There are people out there. There's so much business out there, both low level, media level, and high level. If you have the skill sets, you can make things happen. So subscribe to my channel, stay in touch, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks so much.